Hello, welcome again to Building Modern APIs with RESTful video series. Uh, my name is Matteo Aguilo and uh, let's dive into the second episode of this series. So uh, in the previous uh, episode we, we talked about creating the labels resource that's going to contain these pieces of information that we uh, previously saw in the content model. So uh, the first thing that uh, we may want to try is before going into the diving into the restful module uh, we could want to to see if we can really build this with other simpler techniques and for that I installed views and views data source and I'm going to try to add a new view called record labels Okay, so um, I don't need the page. This is content of type record label. Um, I really don't want them to be sorted. And uh, yeah, uh, we can give it a description or not. Uh, so what we are going to do is we're going to add a contextual filter for this because, sorry, before that, uh, let's go and uh, make this a JSON document and select some, configure this a little bit, label, label, and uh, this seems okay, yeah, you could dive uh, a little bit more into this, uh, you can see that since there is only one record label in our in our database. Uh, this is showing here. So uh, this is nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add more fields to this. And if we come back here, uh, we have the name by default, and we want the bands. Okay, the bands. What else? Uh, the the artists. Okay, and finally the regular history. All right, let's configure those. Um, so this is the the record label history. So we're gonna call it history. Uh, I'm I am using lowercase because this is gonna become the label in the in the JSON field. So uh, you want to have this with um with the lowercase, if that is what you want in your JSON document. So uh, I'm selecting the label that I want, uh, not the one that it dictates the, the name of the field, uh, which is good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue and say here, I'm going to call this just artists. And this, I'm going to call it bands. All right. So uh, that's that's basically it, but this doesn't look quite right, and this doesn't look quite right either, because uh, I want this to be an array of artists and probably an array of IDs, because I, I want to then be able to make other requests for this. So I'm going to change this a little bit, and uh, instead of this, I'm going to say the entity ID, multiple fields, I want them into different rows. Um, yeah, probably. And then I'm going to do the same with, with bands. So at this point, you realize that uh, you have weird stuff. So you have duplication here. Instead of having these artists become an array, you have two different records, uh, which is not exactly what uh, we wanted. But let's do something else. Let's uh, say that we display them in the, in the same row. And the same goes for bands. 
even if we only have one band in the database we, we could we could have more um, and then uh, then we're going to just separate this by comma and call it a day uh, this is not ideal but it's doable so um, let's add a contextual filter so you can select a single record label by an ID All right and if it's not present we're going to display all results so uh, that's it uh, if I was to oh I don't know the the node ID for this the for this record label mm -hmm. right I see here that it's 58 and I just want to uh, make sure that by selecting 58 yes I get this if I select another another an ID I don't get any record records okay um, that is that's that look good uh, I mean if you can get away with just this um, do it but uh, you can start <coughs> you can start to see how this is not very practical uh, and how uh, you and however you could overcome this uh, with other with other options um, this is going to rapidly become a problem if you want to do something like this like uh, in a single request get all of this information um, so uh, yeah mm, this is what you can do with uh, with view data sources <clears throat> again this is a very simple way to do it uh, see the time that it took me to create this without really knowing what I'm doing so uh, if you again if this serves your purpose and uh, there is nothing else that that you need uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I see you um, in I guess a different tutorial uh, but if you need uh, more complex things like creating stuff, uh, updating uh, the band, uh, allowing, allowing users to um, update a picture of the, of the band or uplay, update a concert that the, the band ha held in, in the user city, etc. Then those things are going to require uh, a little bit a more complex <coughs> option and we're gonna solve that with RESTful and um, and finally we will see um, some of the most interesting stuff that you can do with RESTful thank you for watching